picked up all the screws in a few seconds. Isn't that awesome? I'm gonna show you how to make. Hey everyone, welcome to s -Trice. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to upgrade this vacuum cleaner. So this impeller just basically sucks air in from the middle and blows it out through the circumference. This one right here has to spin at very high revolutions per minute. So let's try it. So it got 23,750 RPM. Just gonna measure the suction power for you, which I'm just gonna use this weighing scale. So I asserted a maximum suction of around 1.3 Newton. Around there, 22 millimeters. So radius is 11 millimeter. 3,420 Pascal similar to the claim 4000 Pascal of this vacuum cleaner. Is it possible to push this number up higher? The answer is of course yes and today I'm gonna show you how to do it. So right here I have 100,000 RPM motor claimed by the seller. Ecological damage. It's a 21.6 volts, 120 watt brushless motor. 14 milliamps and 15 volts. Woo! There we go, it turns. Okay, so I'm just gonna hold this up for you to see. Whoa! So you can see it still cycles. The reason is because the current is too high. You have to run it on a separate battery. And you can see that the voltage is hovering around 24 volts. Bravo! Two white wires is just basically connected to half the current going into the vacuum cleaner. Half power, full power. Now I'm just gonna directly put in the vacuum cleaner stuff right here. The HEPA filter would block some of the air in, so the value might not be exactly double. Full power, turn on. So now you know. So we need to get into the shelves of this vacuum cleaner. Turn clockwise to free up the front part. And now we have to unscrew five screws to get in. And two plastic pieces were taken out. You can see the sparks if I turn on the motor. There's a ton. Okay, so now what we have to do is to just desolder. There you go. The brushless motor is inherently larger than the brushed motor. Not possible to fit in to this part right here. My suggestion is to just knock off this front part. We just have to knock off the front part of this. This isn't that perfect fit. I chose the right one for this. I definitely chose the right one. Now we are going to knock off the, the other side as well. Do the same thing. Wow, such a mess. This is much faster. Just put one layer of thick cardboard here, another layer of thick cardboard here, so that the motor can stand up like this. All right, first step, take three pieces of 2.6 by 1.9 centimeters cardboard and glue it so that it forms three layers and glue it to the back of the plate like this. This will allow the 
motto to actually fit snugly. Prepare three pieces of 3.8 centimeters by 2.0 centimeters cardboard and stick it on top of each other. Just apply a little bit, not very much. All right, well done. Once you make your second iteration of these 3.8 by 2.0 centimeter cardboard pieces, you can now glue it to the top of the second part here. Put a very generous amount like this and just push it down. Get a big piece of cardboard and just trace out like this, a U shape. Do next is to just draw these tiny holes here, a little bit like this, so you can get the rough shape of this. Bam! Look at this. You can see it fits almost nicely. What we need to do is to just trim off that. All right. So once you have done that, look at this. Isn't that nice? You can actually fit it inside. Now let's do the same for the the other part, the other side. Now what we have to do next is to just basically hot glue the motor, glue this side and this side right here. I'm just gonna push it in from the back like the battery of a clock. Yeah, what we have to do is to just solder red wire to the switch. This one right here, we have to drill an additional hole to put the speed controller in. Okay, so I have the two wires from the motor. Push it in, push, there we go. And last but not least, what you have to do is before closing everything up, hot glue this side with tons of hot glue. And what we have to do now is to find a way to get the wire out from here. We reseal everything for the last time before closing everything up. Like this. Let's finally cover this thing. It's time to remove the hot glue goo from the front of the vacuum cleaner upgraded motor. Turn the heat up to number three and the heat to and the fan speed to number two. So a little bit of hair drying gas kind of help to reduce the dirtiness of the front of the vacuum cleaner. Look at this. This is actually the battery that's running the vacuum cleaner. Uh, 3.65 volts nominal voltage, 7.3 watt hours, giving us a nominal capacity of 2000 milliampere hours. into our final stretch of the vacuum cleaner conversion project. So this is a parcel. I ordered it on the 25th and one, two, three, four, five, six days. So it took six days to deliver, which is kind of long, especially for a local delivery, but I have no choice. So anyway, we got just the thing. And this is the uh, manual. So this is the Dyson vacuum cleaner battery replacement is for V8 Dyson vacuum cleaner. It's a protective cover which that will come in handy. 21.6 volt, 3000 milliampere hour, 64.8 watt hours battery. So we are gonna connect it to the positive, which is this one right here, and the negative. We get, we have to turn on the power supply. You can see we get 21.6 volts from the battery. There we go. So we just drill two holes at the side of this one so that we can pass our wires. It's around the line where that bulgy line occurs. This.
Alright, so the modification has been going perfectly fine. This is the plastic battery holder and I've added some cardboard here along with some hot glue. Now it's just a matter of slotting the battery in and be careful this thing requires patience or else you'll damage the battery. Connect the red wire to the positive like I've shown negative wires. I've drew the hole right here so that I can put something into the switch to push the switch down. Like for example, this jack that I've gotten from the old vacuum cleaner belongs to here. And push the switch down. I also enlarge the hole of the protective cover so I can slot the charger in nicely. Like for example, your Dyson 26.1 volt charger. Very nice. You just empty out the container and just spill it around the area here. It's really messy. You could step on it. Low, high. So we we'll start with low. Oh wow, it actually picked up everything. That's awesome. The highest speed of the vacuum cleaner. Super mode. <laughs> it's a few seconds, everything's gone. Isn't that nice? It's really worth it to actually upgrade this. It's so much more powerful than my previous vacuum cleaner. Around 0 0.65 kilogram force. I have mentioned this area before, so can anyone tell me what is this area? I have mentioned it 10 minutes ago, so just see whether you're paying attention to my videos. What do you say? I don't know again. Hmm, never watch my videos, right? Well, sorry, it's actually 11 millimeters. So area is your circle, pi r squared. So pi times 11 squared. And already, this 16.8 kilopascal is more than four times the amount of our old vacuum cleaner. So it's very awesome. Even at low speed, it's outperforming the old vacuum cleaner by a margin. Let's turn our vacuum cleaner up. Let's just say 0 0.9 kilogram force, uh, 1 to 1 pi times 10 to the power of negative 6, we would get 23.2 kilopascal. So this is amazing. I were to do it again on another vacuum cleaner, I would say definitely a resounding yes. And how long will it last? Capacity divided by current. And we get slightly more than 1 hours of run time. But for the high speed, more, slightly more than 30 minutes. And for $70, you can get such a powerful vacuum cleaner. It is definitely an operator. And I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the next one for more exciting videos. Thank you so much.